Well, hey everybody. Today, I'm gonna show you something really cute and special. I'm gonna show you how to make your very own sock monkey. I saw somebody who made these on the internet and they were so cute and adorable. So I had to, and I was determined to figure out how to make them. Um, they're quite simple to make. Um, you can make these pretty much in under an hour, I'd say. Um, they're real soft and fluffy and fun and squeezable and lovable and huggable. So today, let me go ahead and get you started and show you how to make a sock doll monkey. Okay, you want to start with two of those fuzzy socks. Oh, and I forgot threads all over the place. Two adult size fuzzy socks. And fuzzy, you really want to get the fuzzy kind and I'll show you why. One of the first things you want to do is, and I hope you can see this, let me see if I can get in close. You want to stitch, turn, I'm sorry, turn the sock inside out and you want to stitch all the way up one side. Here's that back part to the heel. You want to stitch all the way up, come over, and then stitch all the way back down with your sewing machine. Then stitch, then stitch the top close. Okay, once again, stitch all, start with two socks, stitch all the way up until you get to the little butt part, maybe about an inch from the butt part. Come across and stitch back down. That way you can just cut between the stitches and these are going to be the legs for your sock doll, sock monkey doll. Okay, stitch across the top and now unfortunately as you can see you have now stitched it perfectly closed. How, what do you do next? Well since I like the hide seams, you stitch it closed remember, I like the hide seams about halfway down from that top stitch just make a little pucker and make a little nip right there and you now have an opening flip the sock inside out and now you can go ahead and begin once you get it all turned flipped inside out those are your legs for your sock doll monkey there's its little butt and this is going to be then opening which you're gonna put the mouth over. Okay, so you've got that piece done. From the other sock, you wanna cut that tip part off the foot because this is gonna be the mouth of your sock doll. And I show, I'm gonna show you the next step how to do that. But I wanna show you how to cut your pieces first. So you took one sock, you cut up the middle, excuse me, you stitched up the middle across and down and then you stitch the top shut and then you cut a stitch stitch the top shut sorry and, and cut a little opening so you can fill it with stuffing and that other sock piece that you have go ahead and the longer of the two pieces just cut straight across because this is what you're going to make your two arms out of now what i like to do I'll turn that piece of sock inside out, stitch across here, across one of the openings, leave the other end open, then stitch down and then stitch down, and then that way you can cut up the middle just like you did with the legs. It's a little bit easier to do it this way than cutting these pieces out separately and stitching them closed. Okay, so this you're going to use for your two arms. The other piece that you have left you want to cut, and let me see, I drew it out for you, sort of a half moon shape for the ear. And in the, uh, in the next part of the video, I'll show you how to um, attach the ears. So I'm just going to cut, try to make it as big as you can. Then that way, you know, your ears will come out really cute. Okay, since I cut on the fold, let me cut this open. Okay, so now you have two 
half moon shaped pieces for the ears. You have this piece, which you're going to, I'll just go ahead and cut it. And you'll now just have to work on it later. And these will be your arms. So you've got two pieces for arms. You've got two pieces for ears and you've got the body and you've got the mouth. Okay, in the next video step, the next section, I'll show you how to put it all together. You're gonna take all this and make a magical, hello, cute and adorable sock monkey doll.